This lesson is designed to help you speak with the Southern drawl. I will first lead you through a series of vowel and consonant substitutions, the key changes that will get you into the accent. I'll then demonstrate the drawl with a brief monologue. This method of breaking it down, then building it up, fosters mastery of the accent. I perform this accent in Los Angeles and New York on stage, and I have literally written the book on the subject. Kindly allow this Southern gentleman to lead the way. Nasalize our endings. Boring, charge head first, mermaid, permanently short order. The standard American accent, um, the speaker typically pronounces the retroflexed hard R in a throaty manner. Boring, charge head first, mermaid, permanently short order. In the modern South, our endings are vividly expressed, increasing the nasality. Boring, charge head first, mermaid, permanently short order. The long O becomes O, hoping, most, over, poke, so. We have the same O as any other Americans, we just put it through the nose first. <laughs> okay, the short A ends with yeah. Uh, after, black eyed peas, de facto, snap, talented. In the following speech, I will demonstrate those key changes. I'm fixing to deliver the word slowly at times and occasionally speak in a spitfire manner. Listen for those key vowel and consonant substitutions. In this monologue, a cop warns his new deputy just how bad things can get in their unusual neck of the woods. Now, you're a rookie under my wing, and you want to charge head first into a shopping mall that everyone knows is haunted. I mean, we're sitting here in this patrol car, and you're fixing to uh, sprint out and arrest every demon that rears its ugly head. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Do you know the story of Jack Cody Galloway? You don't, do you? Well, I'll tell you. He used to be a short or a cook. He was talented. I stop in for his soup and sandwich. Now, most places, the soup and sandwich is the de facto boring choice you get when you strap for cash, but not Jack Cody, no sir. He fixed a soup he called the Wandering Eye. It was made with sweet potatoes, spinach, and black-eyed peas. It was strange. It was also delightful. For the sandwich, he fixed the hawk and tail. It's a collard green monstrosity. He layered with vegetarian pork and crushed bell peppers. Between that and the soup, I'm, I'm, I'm set for the day. But here's the problem. Jack Cody Galloway doesn't work there anymore. Yeah, he was, he was knocking back a few shots after work, and he'd come up with this idea. He figured he'd poke around the mall. Said he was hoping to meet a mermaid. And that was on Friday. Come Monday morning, we find him by the pier, buck naked, saying he wanted to be close to the creatures of the sea. Kept him in the drunk tank for a couple days, hoping he'd snap out of that state of derangement. No such luck. He was so mentally shaken, we had to transfer him to Charleston, where he's locked up now, permanently. As we near the end of this lesson, I invite you to read the About section, where I place the vowel and consonant substitutions, as well as the monologue. Spend time with this material, and it will open up to you. Best of luck with your southern drawl.